Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I am pleased to be here with Sharon Karn, who is my featured heart-centered business for the month of September in the Opal Rising magazine. She's also one of my regular columnists. Sharon is the founding partner, director of training and program development of the Sound Wellness Institute. Hi, Sharon, how are you today? I'm apt, I'm I'm wonderful and so excited and so honored to be here, Cindy. Thank you. Oh no, thank you, Sharon. Um, I'm really excited to introduce you to um, to our readers. And so let's let's chat about the the um, Sound Wellness Institute. Um, can you tell me what inspired you to create the Sound Wellness Institute? Um, I like to call it a boot from the universe. <laughs> yeah. It's like it, it's uh, one thing I never expected to be doing, yet it it has certainly become soul work. I've been a musician all my life and had been on faculty at Mount Royal University for almost 30 years in the conservatory teaching music. And at the same time, for many years doing training in sound healing and sound therapy. Well, after I went to uh, I went to the uh, United States to study with Jonathan Goldman and Tom Kenyon. And it wasn't long after I got back from the the second year of studying with Tom Kenyon is I received a call from out of the blue from the Integrative Health Institute at Mount Royal University. And the director, Elaine, she said, Sharon, I hear you're into sound therapy. <laughs> Wow. And I said, yeah, absolutely. It's been a, a passionate area of study for me for many years. And she said, well, they were sponsoring a study on stress and they wanted to use sound therapy as one of the interventions to study. So she asked me if I would create a program as a facilitator mm -hmm. in that study and then deliver it to the study, study the volunteers. And I did that. That was back in 2008. We started the conversations in 2007, Cindy. Oh and on the last, oh my goodness, on the last day, I was surrounded by the people in the class saying, this mm -hmm. was so helpful. How do we learn more? Mm -hmm. And I was speechless. I had nowhere, no recommendation. There was nothing. And so I said, well, uh, okay, uh, let me come up with something. <laughs> and uh, a month after I finished my part in that study, mm -hmm. I created Sound Wellness as a way to get this it, really helpful information out to a larger audience. That's amazing. You know, yeah. and I have to mention, I, I sat in on one of your webinars where, where you did the tuning forks and, and the, the um, singing bowls, like I see behind you there. I love those. But it was amazing for me. Um, it really, it opened up a new experience. And now, you know, I really, I pay more attention to sound and vibration. Um, so... Now, tell me, um, who is the Sound Wellness Institute for? And I know you've got some programs and some certification, and you did mention something about a Canada job grant program. Oh, the uh, the sound sound wellness has evolved over the years, and in 2017 we created the the Sound Wellness Institute, Cindy, because one of the things that had bugged me so much after I finished my own training is I always believe in pra pra um, professional associations, mm -hmm. and we couldn't find one anywhere on the planet, actually, that recognized sound healing and sound therapy as a recognized modality. And I thought, that's got to change. So we raised the bar on everything we created with our certification program for holistic practitioners. Sound is a powerful complement to so, so many different modalities. Mm -hmm. Um, so we created the highest competency certification we could, which is a competency certification, which means there's online testing, there's in-person testing, similar to what massage therapists go through in okay. their, their, their training so that we can be really confident. People really are comfortable with handling the tools and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
And and so we, uh, because I really wanted to see sound at a higher level of recognition with professional associations, we approached the Natural Health Practitioners of Canada Association. They're the largest professional association in the country. They're mm -hmm. na na nationwide. And we asked them for formal approval of all our programs. And they did. We sent them a 300 page proposal in a box full of textbooks. That oh I my wrote. God. And so they did. So practitioners who are members can receive credits for taking our programs for mm -hmm. their, uh, their upgrading they do every year. And also a person who has our level two practitioner training can register as a member. That's a first in Canada. And I'm so excited about that. So a person with only sound training can now become a member of a practice, uh, professional, <laughs> professional association. So it, uh, it was something that I really felt needed to be changed. And I'm just so grateful for that. That's amazing. So we have programs for holistic practitioners okay. who want to integrate sound into their practice. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And you're in Calgary, correct? Yes, we're in Calgary. Okay. So to do the to, to the programs and the certification, I, I would need to be there in person. No. For that. We one of the things we discovered, and this was something that I had a lot of questions about when mm -hmm. when we started this, Cindy, at the beginning of um, the pandemic, uh, we couldn't do any live events, so we just put right. everything online. And I had a lot of questions about how do you use the tuning forks and mm -hmm. the singing bowls, which are hands on body body tools and how they would work and how the training would work and the practice would work with doing this all online. Oh, right. And it worked like a charm. So we've had students attend our programs from all over North America, mm -hmm. from as far away as Kuala Lumpur and Dubai. And oh my they God. all have loved it. They found it extremely helpful and very practical, even mm -hmm. the hands-on practice we do. That's Wow. I know because when I, when I sat in that webinar with you and, you know, you did the tuning fork and there was one, ex, one, um, therapy or something that you did there where you could actually feel the vibration of that, that tuning fork. And, and I think I had a headache that day and that tuning fork vibration actually eased my headache from where you are. I'm in, I'm on Vancouver Island you're in Calgary, and from that, you know, just over sound, it was, it just amazed me. It, it's, um, it's expanding my own perception uh, of how powerful sound is, even mm -hmm. in this format, Cindy, and yes. how awesome it released some of the pain from your headache. I've seen so many stories like that over and over and over with online sessions mm -hmm. and, and our practitioners also with the online sessions we do and in the practice that we do, because we have a lot of ongoing support for our practitioners. So we we have monthly gatherings, actually two monthly gatherings, where mm -hmm. we practice or we have a special topic and of interest to practitioners and bringing something into their practice they want to practice more on or learn more about. Oh, that sounds great. Is um, Maybe you can give me some information for that. Like, is it open to, to anybody or can, you, can they join? Um, maybe you can give me some information about that and I can tack it at the end of this, um, this um, podcast. Oh, well, thank you for that. That's something I hadn't really thought about because right now it's just for our practitioner community. But let me mm -hmm. think about that because okay. if other sound practitioners want to come in and explore how how we're using the tools and that, yeah, that's a cool idea. Oh, well, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Oh, yeah, I love that. Uh, I haven't said anything about the job grant program. So let oh, me. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. I probably took you off tangent there. No, go oh, ahead. I want to hear about that. 
we were so excited in about two years ago, near the beginning, I guess about a year into the pandemic, we found out from the Canada Job Grant Program that our programs qualify for the Canada Job Grant Program and that they had expanded the, um, the um, I guess the requirements for applying to include whole, uh, a very, very small businesses because oh. so many small businesses were challenged mm -hmm. with all the shutdowns and restrictions. Mm -hmm. They expanded the job, the job grant program so small business owners could take part in training. And so what that means is that, for example, if a, a holistic practitioner has been in business for about a year mm -hmm. and they there there are certain requirements that need to be filled. And my husband, Ed, walks everyone through the job grant program application to make sure they're accepted. Right. And so it's... Um, if you've been in practice for a year, then you can receive a grant for up to 60% or two thirds of the full amount of the tuition. That's wow. enormous, enormous support. So all mm -hmm. of our programs qualify for this grant. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly if someone is interested, they could give us a call and, and Ed can fill them in on details from okay. each province. Ontario, we still, uh, right now, we don't qualify for Ontario. This is a national program. Okay. In the, in the Western provinces, we definitely qualify for the, the job grant program. That's excellent. Okay, we'll, I'll have some links to, to you as well at the bottom of the, um, the screen when we, when we finish here. Um, so for anybody out there that's interested in getting a hold of Sharon um, uh, and wants to participate in a certification program, we'll have that information for you at the end of the program here. Um, so what are your visions for the future? Do you have any big plans? Are you growing? What's, what's happening? Oh, this is... <laughs> This has been so interesting since I hadn't expected to be doing sound wellness. It's been a fascinating learning curve. And where we're at right now and with our visions for the future is expansion and training other people to, to uh, teach our programs and also developing a team to teach other parts of the programs that I don't necessarily have the qualifications for. For example, mm -hmm. anatomy and physiology. We have that course taught by a, a nurse who is one of, also one of our practitioners. Oh. So that is uh, those kinds of things. We've been expanding mm -hmm. our team this year or into next year, we'll also be expanding uh, the personal team for Ed and I with mm -hmm. help for website and, and social media kind of uh, uh, administrative support that uh, mm -hmm. because we've really been expanding and people are becoming more and more interested in bringing sound into their practice. There isn't a particle anywhere in you that does not respond to sound. So it's, mm -hmm. it's such a, a no brainer as a, a complement to so, so many modalities. Oh, and I have to mention here to everybody too that I did mention in the beginning of the program here that Sharon is also a writer for me with the Opal Rising magazine. And you've been writing, I think, since the very beginning. You Yes. And so it's almost, it's I think it's over two years now. Um, but the last two articles that you did um, was the five tips to stop worry. And you used some great techniques in there using sound. And I really liked the, um, the article, uh, Creating Sacred Space. So for anybody out there who hasn't read those articles yet, you know, you can find them on the website. I'll have those links as well. Um, so thank you, Sharon. Um, it has been such a pleasure talking to you today and let's do this again. And I'm sure we will do this again because I am really interested in sound. So, um, oh, okay, well, thank you. And I wish it didn't have to end, but we're, <laughs> we're kind of running out of time here. So thank you again and goodbye everybody.